been you know quite an intense um, program since Christmas, and the, the lads got told that just before Christmas because we've not had um, we've not got the tent as early this year. So normally we go into the tent straight after the half term, and we've not got that. So the lads knew it was going to be a tough block, um, you know, and they're fatigued. But you know, to see their skills under fatigue is really good. They get a break now next week, um, and then hopefully come back three weeks, and then we go to Abu Dhabi. So can't wait for some sunshine. What's been clear is sort of the collaborative approach that players take as well between themselves, working out how they're going to bowl to batters and how the batters are going to combat that. Is that again a purpose thing from coaches just to take a step back and let the players control what they're doing? Yeah, yes, and obviously still interacting with the players with what they're working on because everyone's working on different things. Uh, but at the same time, Hasib and, and Pete have got to pick a team in you know however many weeks' time, so people want to push the case forward to that, um, which is exciting and a great opportunity to see people. You know, under a bit more pressure than, than just having throwdowns in the nets, I suppose. You enjoying the coaching? Absolutely loving it. Yeah, I've been, um, you know, I think it was obviously thrown in because Pete and Frankie were away. So, you know, there was only three of us really. Uh, we had obviously help with, with Woody, Damsey, John Lewis has helped us out. Um, so I th I've kind of just been, I've had to get on with it. But I've really loved it, I really enjoy it. I think I've said to you a million times, I've got a passion for it. I feel like I'm helping people, um, you know, and I'm sure there'll be the mistakes I've made as well and, and more to make, but really enjoying it and hopefully, you know, take it into the season.